Careful with that thing, Phillips. Hell's weak enough as it is. Do you want to do this? Nah. I think I'll leave it to you. Then stop complaining and let me get on with it. It's not as if I haven't done this before. You know, I think we've been quite lucky. Lucky? What way? Well, Hell's been beat up pretty bad, but the engines haven't been damaged at all. Doesn't that strike you as odd? We don't even know what's caused the damage, Yates. What are you trying to get at? Matthews thinks the colonists are to blame. He even believes that the Captain Sharky and Walters have joined them. You don't believe him? No, I'd believe him if he said it was raining, but only if he came in wet. <laughs> well, what is about the best way to describe him? If it were the colonists trying to keep us here, they'd have made sure the engines were damaged. Permanently. Anyway, we haven't seen sign of them since we've been here. That doesn't mean they're not out there somewhere. There are a lot of places they could hide. Maybe. That still doesn't seem right to me. I mean, why are they hiding? Why didn't they come out when they first saw our ship? They're the ones who asked for our assistance in the first place. I think maybe something's happened to them. I'll think when I'm paid to think. You better get on with the welding. I'll relieve Halloran. You won't be happy if we leave him on duty longer than he needs to be. Well, get going. Maybe I'll be able to get on with my work if you're not around to disturb me. Around to make sure you do it right, you mean? Ah, we've landed. Mm, oxygen normal, radiation nil, gravity a little on the high side, but nothing to worry about. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. Have we arrived, Doctor? That's not right at all. Where on Earth, or anywhere else for that matter, are we? Doctor, are you listening to me? Not at the moment. Have we landed yet? Yes, Moira, we've arrived. But the problem is, I'm not sure where. That's not unusual, Doctor. You usually don't know where we are. Is that a fact? Well, this time, it's a bit more complicated. According to the coordinates, we're in the Hortima system. You know where we are, then. What's the problem? It's all a matter of location. We are where we are, but that isn't where we should be. Don't you ever tire of speaking in riddles, Doctor? We've arrived in the Hortima system, but the planet we've landed on shouldn't be here. Then where should it be? No, no, Moira. I mean that the planet we've landed on shouldn't exist. At least not in this system it shouldn't. Are you unwell again, Doctor? Unwell? How often am I ever unwell, Moira? Or not working at full capacity? Perhaps it would be best not to answer that. You're right. Perhaps I shouldn't answer that. So, can we go outside? Yes, I don't see why not. I might even find out what's causing the TARDIS to give me false details. dark out here. It's night time. Your eyes should soon adjust. Have you noticed how warm it is? Yes, it feels like summer. Perhaps it would have been better if I'd left my coat inside the TARDIS. It does look a bit bulky, not to mention garish. Where on earth did you find it? In your wardrobe? Really? Well, my taste has obviously improved with time. Do you know what I think? No, but I am sure you're going to tell me. I think this planet is quite close to its sun. That's why it's still so warm, even though night has fallen. I hate to imagine how hot it would be during it. Oh. Doctor? I'm sorry, Moira. I don't know what came over me. I feel a bit of a headache. We could go back inside the TARDIS if... No, no, I'll be... Oh, I'll be fine. You don't look fine to me. You've gone pale. Doctor? Doctor? Ah. Come on, you stupid piece of junk. Focus. I'm sure I saw something move down there. Come on, will you get in focus? You planning on staying here all night, Halloran? Beloved Empress, Yates, you almost scared ten years off my life. 
Maybe they'll make you ten years wiser. What's got you so worked up anyway? I think I saw some movement down by the ruins. I was running a sweep over the area and caught a glimpse of something. But when I tried to get a closer look, the stupid binoculars jumped out of focus. Yeah, there's probably just some dust swept up by the wind. Either that or tired eyes. Haven't you been on watch for the last five hours? I know what I saw, Yates, and it certainly wasn't a dust cloud. There was something, or someone, moving down there. Take a look for yourself if you don't believe me. Fine. Give me the binoculars. How are you done with these things? They're completely out of focus. Eh, that's better. Take a look down by the largest of the buildings amongst the ruins. That's where I saw it. I can't see anything there now, Halloran. Maybe it's one of the colonists. We haven't caught so much as a glimpse of one of those buggers since we've been here. And to be honest, I don't think we're going to find them. What else could it have been? Saw the planet surveys yourself? Are there any other forms of life on this forsaken rock? What makes you so certain the survey was accurate? I don't buy the idea that the colonists have gone into hiding. Why would they when we've come here to help them? So what do you think is going on? I'm not sure, but I think Matthews has been too quick to try to pin the blame on the colonists for the damage that's been caused to the ship. And if it wasn't them, then it had to be someone else. Maybe we're not as alone on this planet as the survey suggests. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. I'm thinking the same thing. Unless we can convince Matthews, there's not much we can do. Your watch is over. Why don't you get some rest? Afterwards, we can have a word with Matthews. Keep your eyes open, Yates. I don't trust this planet. See you in the morning. This is our target. We must destroy the structures. The walls begin to melt. You will be well pleased with our labors. Leader, we cannot complete the destruction. We have little bio left. We shall stop now, then. There is too much risk if we deplete our bile. Take the dead back with you. We must leave no sign of our presence here. Will you not be coming with us, leader? No. There is another task that I must perform. I must go to the structure they call... Ship. There are other infections that must be dealt with. Doctor, what's wrong? Doctor, tell me what's wrong! Mortar, help me! The noise... It's too loud. My mind, it, it feels as though it's being incinerated. What noise, Doctor? All I can hear is you. You can't hear it? But it's everywhere. An all-consuming noise, the crippling pain. Help me! I can't! The pain emanating from you is paralyzing. Doctor, who are you talking to? What can I do to help? Moira. You must help me. Get me back into the TARDIS, now! Uh, I told you to stop eating those late-night snacks, Doctor. Now I'm paying for it. Open yourself to me, please! No! You'll overrun my mind. I can't risk it. Moira, please, hurry! Uh, thank you, Moira. Thank you so very much. Are you feeling better now, Doctor? Yes, I think so. Yes, I feel much better now. What just happened? Another mind attempted to link with me telepathically. A very powerful one at that. I'm still... I'm still finding it difficult to gather my thoughts. But it stopped now. Yes, I think the TARDIS is shielding me, which will give me the time I require. Time to do what? Shouldn't we just leave, Doctor? What? <laughs> leave? Of course not. I'm going to try to create a mental barrier so that I won't be susceptible to the telepathic probe again. You're going out there again? Are you crazy? Last time it attacked you as soon as you stepped outside. Now, Moira, I don't think it was trying to attack me. It was just trying to make contact and probably didn't realize how much strain it was putting me under. Doctor, I think you're being very foolish. How can you be so sure it won't affect you the same way again? Well... I don't, but I'm fairly confident it will work. Now, if you could just give me a few moments of silence while I try to form the barrier, I would appreciate it. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, that should do it. That didn't take very long. Are you sure this is going to work? I think so, yes. There's only one way to find out, though. It seems to be working. Are you sure? Of course I am. I can feel its mind trying to probe mine, but the barrier I've put up is holding. It's a little difficult, but I'll manage. Now maybe we should have a look around. Do you think it's a good idea to move away from the TARDIS? If anything went wrong, at least you would be closer to safety. No, I don't think that will be a problem. Besides, whatever was causing the creature that much pain, it wasn't here. The only way I'm going to be able to find out what caused it is to look around. Where do we go then? Hmm, let's see. Ha! Ah, just over there, a bit of ways. Could those dark shapes be buildings? Oh well, only one way to find out. Come on, Moira. It looks as if it could be quite a walk. I'm telling you, Kincaid, I know what I saw. What do you think you saw, surely? You said you only managed to catch a glimpse. There was something down there, and it wasn't one of the colonists. I'll stake my reputation on it. <laughs> what reputation? You haven't been taking a few shots of the Sorosian Gutbuster to keep you warm on watch, have you? I'm serious, Daniels. I don't think we're alone on this planet, and I don't believe the colonists are ever going to be found alive, either. And the captain? You think he's been killed too? Uh, I've known the captain for years. I don't care what Matthew says. There's no way he would have deserted his post. I haven't known the captain as long as you have, Haloran. But I have to agree with your assessment. The thought of the captain deserting us makes no sense at all. Hmm. What's going on here? There could be lots of reasons why the colonists would have gone into hiding. The crew members as well. This planet is Sorosian government property. They'll let the colonists cultivate and settle here because it relieves the overcrowding on a homeworld. But if they found any technology or treasure here, do you think the government would have let them keep it? The captain was no treasure seeker, Kincaid. He was loyal to his oath. There is something else out there. Follow it! Sir! Kincaid has the right of it. This planet was deserted before the colonists arrived, and apart from them and us, it is still deserted. Sir, the missing crew... ...have shirked their duty. They are with the colonists, of that I am certain. What about the damage to the ship, sir? A crude attempt to stop us from leaving the planet. Their scared will warn Sorosia, and have a fleet of ships brought here within days. It's not likely we'll be able to do that now, is there? The radio's been out of action since we arrived. More sabotage. The colonists are traitors to Sorosia. But the captain and the other crewmen who deserted are traitors two times over, to Sorosia and to the Corps. When they are caught, the colonists will suffer the full force of the law. As for the deserters, they will face my justice. Their crime is greater and so must be their punishment. They will regret... Sir! Lieutenant Matthews! No. I will not listen. I must not listen. Lieutenant, snap out of it, man! Snap out of what, Hollerin? In the future, I suggest you watch your tongue. It could get you into more trouble than even you could get yourself out of. I'd say the pressures of command are starting to get to him. Phew, tell me about it. Kincaid, even you'd have to admit that that was a bit odd. But if he becomes too unstable to command, who's going to take over? Who indeed? Moira, do you notice anything odd about these buildings? Apart from the fact that they're falling apart, no. Exactly, Moira. They're falling apart, and that's what's so strange about them. It happens, Doctor. Things get old and begin to crumble away. It's, it's just a fact of life. Yes, quite. The trouble is, I don't think these buildings are that old. The metal that's been used to make them has only recently been discovered in this part of the universe. The buildings can't be much more than 20 years old. Perhaps the builders they hired weren't very good. I don't think cowboy builders have got out quite this far yet. Besides, the damage to the buildings doesn't look natural. I'm going to try and get inside one of them. Are you coming? Um, no. I think I'll just take a look around outside. If you're sure. Call if you need me. Oh, and Moira? Yes, Doctor? Don't go wandering off. It will make a nice change if we can manage not to lose each other, hmm? Me? Go wandering off? He should take his own advice more often. What's that? It almost looks like a piece of shell. Doctor! Doctor! I found something I think you should look at! 
Doctor, where are you? There's no need to shout, Moira. My hearing is perfect, you know. It really is. I wish you wouldn't creep up on me like that. You scared me half to death. I'm so sorry. I looked in a couple of the buildings, uh, but they were empty. By then I'd worked my way around at the back, so when you called me I came up from behind. Why were you shouting, anyway? I found something, and I thought you might want to see it. Oh. What is it? It looks strange. A shell of some kind, perhaps? Hmm, this looks very interesting, Moira. It's... It looks almost like the carapace of an insect. An ant, perhaps. But the size of it, Doctor. If that came from an ant, it would have to be the size of... of... Yes, Moira, about the size of a man. Not exactly the sort of creature you'd like to walk into. Now look over there, at the bottom of that hill. There's another piece. Does that mean there would be more than one of those creatures? Not necessarily. If it is an ant-like creature, it's entirely possible it could have more than one of these shells covering its body. Let's go take a look, though, just to be certain, of course. It looks the same as the other one. Yes, I noticed that. It could be from another creature, though. I think it would be best if we kept our eyes... Wait a minute, what's this? It looks like a hole, Doctor. Very droll, Moira. Now, I wonder, was the creature making its way towards or away from the hole? Does it matter? I thought we didn't want to come across one of those creatures. Exactly. But any tracks I find would allow me to determine the direction they were headed. I could discern if they were in here or perhaps out there. I guess I could climb in and get a better look. Inside? What if one of those creatures are inside there? Only a quick look, Moira. I'm sure I'll be safe enough. Wake up, Yates. You don't want to get caught napping on duty. Mm. What's that? Ah, oh, gee, Phillips. Just resting my eyes. Yes, of course you were, you old rogue. All right, all right. Just nod it off for a couple of minutes. Been a long day. Anything happened worth mentioning? That you were awake for, anyway? Not a thing. It's been as quiet as the grave. That's the way you want your watch to be. No excitement and to be able to get some rest. You hear that, Phillips? Of course I did. Sunlight came from over there, by the rocks. You got your laser rifle on you? I never leave the ship without it. You take the left-hand side. I'll circle to the right. Call out if you see anything. Yates! Yates! I think I can see someone. Where? Just up by that largest rock. Maybe it's the captain or one of the others. Only one way to find out. Captain? Sharky? Walters! Is that you? Nothing. Perhaps we just imagined it. It's possible, I suppose. I've been a little edgy ever since I had that conversation with Halloran. There was no imagining that. Me to the left and you to the right again? Just be careful. Since they didn't answer my call, I can't say I trust them. Yeah, I'll keep sharp. No sleeping on the job from you this time either. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Keep it steady, Yates, you old boy. Just a little closer. Ah! Hold on, I'm coming! Phillips! What happened? It moved so fast. I couldn't even get off a shot. Suddenly, all I could feel <coughs> was burning. Where did it go? Phillips, where did it go? I didn't see. I'm sorry, Yates. <coughs> I guess I said the end of the line. You're going to be okay, Phillips. Just hang on for a little while longer. Phillips? Phillips! What the devil are you?! These parasites are dead. The leader's will must be obeyed. All the parasites must die. Have you ever known me to take foolhardy risks? At least once a day. Get these two onto the ship and lock them into one of the cabins. Hollering, Daniels, 
I want you two to follow the tracks. If you meet any resistance, shoot first and don't bother to ask questions later. You are infections, parasites. You must be purged. Fire! Great intelligence? I don't like the sound of that. Come to the cabins, Doctor. Danger is approaching. You must hurry. Doctor, all you're planning is fail. Our weapons are barely having any effect. Doctor, I'm not sure if we can hold them. Woo!